Welcome back, everybody. It's time to lock down some nice slivers. We won the die roll. We're up against... I can't pronounce his name. I apologize. Uh, I can't keep this. Can't keep the one-landers with slivers. This is awkward, too. This is very awkward. Got the Ash Barons double lord with lead the stampede on the Blossomy Sands, which comes in tapped. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Well don't really want to mulligan and we can recover from a hand like this it just kind of depends on what our opponent's playing uh so we will keep this i'm not happy about it though not happy about it it's not a great keep we'll probably dump the blade back i think that's that's fine we'll keep two lead the stampedes in hand for that third land uh whenever it comes we'll try to get those popping off See if uh, they're going to mulligan or not. <clears throat> Alright, we're keeping this. We're going to dump the blade. We're going to say done. They did keep seven. Bit unfortunate. Go to you, sir. Let's see what you're on about. No burn. No triple burn this week. Alright. Uh, so this could be Burroughs Aggro, which we haven't gone up against uh, in quite some time. So we're going to go ahead and cycle this. Grab ourselves a plane so we can at least get something on the board. And we'll pass. What else you got here? Lightning Bolt. Oh my gosh, are we really playing... <laughs> Double burn? This isn't burn. Come on. But you could bog with the Boros land. Whatever. Uh, we're getting lords, though. I mean, that's good. I'll, t I'll keep taking the lord drops. Give us some power. Mm -mm -mm. Let's see what else they got. There's the planes. Give us a prophetic prism. Alright, this has got to be Boros aggro still. Probably see a skyfisher... Uh, gonna go lightning bolt had a handful of removal well we're still gonna keep playing our predatories and our lords could have maybe just refilled there uh, but I'm okay with this might have been more mana efficient to lead the stampede there's a Thraben fair enough there's another prophetic prism fair enough you guys all done with removal over here? Okay. I'll see. Yeah, that would have been better. I could have dropped double lords if I had played lead the stampede. So now I'm in a bit of a spot. I think we'll still lead the stampede this turn. Just put down another creature. Hopefully a one drop. Oh, I'll take three lords though. I will take three lords. We lose two winding ways. That's okay. That's okay. Let's get on the attack, shall we? Pass the turn. We're going to have some good power next turn if they uh, leave us with our creature. Uh, I believe they still play with Journey to Nowhere. Uh, unless they swapped it out for some Lightning Bolts. We'll see, though. Getting a bunch of card draw. There's the Sky Fisher. Bringing back Prophetic Prism. That's my guess. Yes. Okay. Well, that's it for the turn. And we're going to have a good board. You swinging in for one? No. Another forest. There we go. I think I still want to get double lords out here. And we can swing in with ease against these guys. Good with me. It's all good. I'm just glad we're not playing Burn, although these two lightning bolts are triggering some PTSD from the last two videos. Just kidding, we won both those. If you didn't check those out, go ahead and check out Monday and Wednesday's, Monday and Wednesday's video. Some good Burn matchups, some good close games with classic Burn. Alright, what do you got for us here? There's a Prophetic. Still got four cards in hand. I mean, they can do some work. They just don't know we have two more lords in hand. Mm hmm. Decisions. Skyfisher. Yep. All right. They're not in a great spot anymore. 
we're gonna be swinging in for oh a lot next turn like 18 next turn they're gonna have to block that's gonna be fun for them but more fun for me gem hide uh, i'm not worried about you right now just gonna play out my lords and we may even see a, a concede here it's gonna be really hard to get back from this bang ouch yeah that's a concede all right so for boros oh let's see here what do we want for you Gleeful? I don't think Gleeful's gonna do enough. Might be okay. Could take out Journeys if they have some Journeys. We could protect our board with a Standard Bearer. Take out a Blade back. Take out. Uh... Might want to leave a Hunter in. So we'll drop a Striking. Do I want a Gleeful? Like a one of. Drop one blade back, bring in a, a gleeful. Could. I'll bring in one just as insurance against uh, any journeys and stuff like that. And we'll submit like that, sure. I haven't played against this deck in a minute. It's been kind of uh, out of the practice rooms for a while. So let's see how game two goes here. Oh man, that is a handful of lands. Wow. Got a mulligan. That's better. Keep this. We'll dump the... Dump the mountain. Yeah. We've only got two red cards in our, our deck at the moment, so... We got plenty of gem hides. But you could bog on turn one. Okay. Mana's a little bit weird for you, huh? Go Viverlint. Start it out. Lots of gem hides. Uh, don't really want to see these gem hides anymore. Not the ideal thing. Okay. Well, we could set up our board a little bit. Just play a gem hide. Play a plated. I'm fine with that. Just start overwhelming them a bit. And really, we could just empty our hand next turn if we wanted to. And they're taking their time with these prophetic prisms, so I'm fine with that. Oh, there we go. They got a Boros Garrison. That's good for them. They finally got some red. Sure, they were looking for that. Yeah, let's go. Let's go, Lord, and just start swinging. Our Lord may die next turn, but that's okay. It's time to put the pressure on. Six damage is a lot. Bring him to fourteen. Get some poisonous going, and they're gonna have to really make some decisions. We did get a refill. So if we need to refill into another Lord, that is perfectly reasonable. There's a Lightning Bolt on our Lord, no big deal. Skyfisher, sure thing. Cracking it out. Alright, Thraben. There's a Plated. It's pretty nice too. Uh, we're still going to do Lead. See what happens. Oh, give it. All right. Got ourselves a Lord. Two plated. I think I'm just going to put out two plated. And just get out of range of all their stuff. Pass it to them. We'll wait to play this muscle. Lightning Bolt ain't going to do it now. So if you want to do stuff, you got to start playing some journeys.
digging so many prophetic prisms it's ridiculous can't wait to put that prophetic prism in my Tron deck when I make it I think I was talking about that in the last video how I'm making uh probably making Tron next in paper just looks fun uh, just not flicker Tron hell no hell no good old classic Eldrazi Tron love me the Eldrazi with the horror bouncy bouncy mm. All right, a winding way, huh? Well, I almost want a winding way. <laughs> Let's see what we can hit off winding way. Cause I kind of just want more lords. I just want more power. Didn't really get the power I was looking for. That's okay. Put down one of these. And we can go swinging still. Oh, got a car. Did you guys hear that car? That car was blazing down my street. Hopefully he didn't pick that up in the microphone. This microphone's pretty good for outside noise, though. Again, put him in a bit of a predicament. We drew all our gem hides, which is pretty ridiculous. I don't like that. Ooh, he's going for the blocks. I like it. I like it. That's what I like to see. Alrighty. Oh, I forgot I did have a flanking out. I thought I had one flanking out. <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> That's alright, though. Oblivion ring. Bye bye muscle. That's okay, though. These double sidewinders are going to help us a lot in the upcoming turns. Sure. Exile my graveyard. Get that double bajuka going. Oh, draw a card. Okay. Okay. Still on blocking duty. That's fine. Um, yeah, let's let's go for another lord here. Cause so I don't want these gem hides. I will discard these gem hides. Let me add it. Let me have it. Come on, buddy. Oh yeah, there we go. Alright, so. Let's put down a couple lords, shall we? Uh, right. Just gonna set up nice and sweet here. And we'll attack in for three. Why not? They will take it. They'll go to eight. Now we got a really nasty board. I think we got this in the bag uh they got a lot of work i mean they have five cards but i don't think those five cards are going to be enough to do it let's see though sky fisher doing what digging would you bring back oh land okay fair enough ah gain four life okay Ah, uh, it's not really going to save you, though, man. It's not. Not with this board. Ooh, Gleeful Stabotage. Okay, yeah. Let's just go ahead and uh, cast that. We'll get this back. Let's see if they want to concede after that. There's that back. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, put down a flanking just for funsies. Now we'll just swing in. With all the good stuff. You know, do that. Draw. Yep, sure. And we win the match. All right, cool. Well, that's good. I don't. I don't think Naya went up against Boros actually since we made the deck. So. Uh, it was nice to play against him. Uh, yeah, did really well. Performed really well. Might have been able to play that a little bit more aggressive, but uh, I just wanted to develop the board. That's what this deck does, and that's what we do best. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Leave a like on the video if you did. Leave a comment below if you're liking Nia Slivers and you want to keep seeing it played. And, uh, hey, it's the end of the week. Uh, it's Friday. We still got one more day to get to 300 subscribers if we haven't yet. I don't know if we have or have not, but if we have... 
give me an extra sub. Let's get it up there in a safe zone of uh, over the 300s, maybe. I'd appreciate it. You know, do your part. Help support the channel. Let's me know that people are still interested in and uh, helps keep me going on the, the daily grind that I've been doing. So, um, yeah. So, until then, we will see you guys in the next video.